On today's Mortal Kombat news mashup, Arcade 1-Up's new Mortal Kombat 30th Anniversary Arcade Cabinet has some fans up in arms, Ed Boon teases a possible skin pack for Mortal Kombat 12, and Mortal Kombat 11 makes the greatest video games of all time list, that and so much more. What is up guys, welcome to the mashup, we're on all the next news in Mortal Kombat that you might have missed from the week. Happy 2022, this is the very first episode of 2022, I know I've been gone for about a month and I've just been... You know, enjoying the break, the holidays, doing some extra work, got a new puppy, enjoying time with family, so it's been a lot going on, but I'm ready to get back into things, so yeah, let's get to the news. On Tuesday, PlayStation updated their PS Now game lineup for January with six new games. The new additions include Square Onyx's RPG Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, the roguelike Fury Unleashed, the open world sandbox game Unturned, the platformer Super Time Force Ultra, the Space Sim Kerbal Space Program, and Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11's addition to the service should excite gamers since back in August of last year, I did report that Mortal Kombat 11 was the PS5's third most downloaded game for that month. Other titles from other own studios made the most downloaded games for PS4 that same month, with Mortal Kombat X at number 4, Mortal Kombat XL at number 9, Mortal Kombat 11 at number 13, and Injustice 2 at number 19. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for Mortal Kombat 11 to be added to PS Now for January. Next up, let's talk about Arcade 1-Up's new announcement of a new Mortal Kombat arcade machine. At this year's Consumer Electronics Show, Arcade 1UP announced their new Mortal Kombat 30th Anniversary Edition Arcade Machine. The home arcade contains 14 games to play, with four of those being Mortal Kombat titles, including the original Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, and Ultimate NK3, while the other 10 titles are Legacy Midway games, including Tubin, Rampage, Joust, Wizard of Waz, Gauntlet, Root Beer Tapper, Defender, Bubbles, Paperboy, and Clax. Other features for the machine include a customizer, light-up marquee, molded coin door, and Wi-Fi Live online play, which is a first in an arcade 1-Up Mortal Kombat game machine. While some fans were excited about this news, others had some comments about the design choices on the arcade machine. The new machine features a full-size illustration of the iconic MK Dragon, which is different from the original arcade machine, which featured the same dragon, but with Daniel Pacina's MK1 Johnny Cage doing a martial arts kick in front of it. User at Ellington Gaming on Instagram commented on arcade 1-Up's post about the new machine saying, when I first saw this, I got excited, 30 years of Mortal Kombat, no problem, but why didn't Arcade 1UP use the original arcade artwork with Daniel Piscina as Johnny Cage? Well, at the time of this recording, Arcade 1UP did not respond to this comment. Daniel Piscina himself did like and comment on the post. Piscina said that he was going to have some made to help work this issue out. I think it'd be awesome if Daniel Piscina was able to release like a special edition version of this cabinet with his artwork on it, and maybe even possibly like sign it, you know, to make it even more special so it's more of a collector's item. And I know that the pricing hasn't been released for this, you know, this cabinet's going to be like, I think, it's going to be released at some time later this year, and it's probably possibly $700 maybe. But if I think they go the extra mile of having like a special Daniel Piscina version, obviously I don't know if Arcade 1UP would do that, but maybe Daniel Piscina will get with somebody to buy a bunch of these and resell them with that on there. Maybe have a signature or something on it to kind of, you know, solidify it. Maybe that'd be closer to like $1,000 maybe, but I think that would just be kind of cool to have and, I know if I had the money to buy one, I would totally buy one if that was a special collector's item. Let me comment below if you think if you're excited about Arcade 1-Up's new Mortal Kombat 30th Anniversary Edition arcade machine, and do you care if it has the MK Dragon without Daniel Pacina, or would you rather have one with Daniel Pacina on there? Let me comments below. All right, next up, let's talk about Mortal Kombat 11 making IGN's top 100 video games of all time list. IGN has released their updated list of the top 100 video games of all time, and Mortal Kombat 11 has made the cut. Of the 100 games listed, Mortal Kombat 11 has made the list at number 82, with other notable titles on the list including Borderlands 2 at 100, Spelunky 2 at 75, Earthbound at number 50, God of War at number 25, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild taking the coveted number one spot. When describing Mortal Kombat 11, IGN said that it was quite simply one of, if not the most, complete fighting games in existence. It's got one of the most impressive story modes in the entire genre, a highly respectable roster of 25 outstanding characters, with 12 more added as DLC, a fantastic set of tutorial modes, an unrivaled set of unlockable cosmetics for every character, an equally unrivaled vault of unlockable goodies found in the game's a unique crypt, which is almost a game unto itself, and most importantly, it's got one of the best online net codes across all fighting games. Do you agree with Mortal Kombat 11 making IGN's list at number 82? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, let's talk about some Mortal Kombat movie news. The Mortal Kombat movie made headlines recently when Business Insider reported that it was HBO Max's most watched movie opening weekend. Out of all the big theatrical movies released to HBO Max last year, which included big titles such as The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, Godzilla vs. Kong, and James Wan's Malignant, Business Insider reported that the live-action Mortal Kombat reboot had the best debut weekend numbers. 
Produced by James Wan, Mortal Kombat pulled in $83.6 million worldwide at the box office beginning on April 23, 2021. The gory video game adaptation was also watched by 3.8 million households during that weekend, a number that no other movie was able to pass on HBO Max. For comparison, Business Insider notes that Godzilla vs. Kong was watched in 3.6 million households during its debut weekend, while The Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It was watched only 1.6 million households, and James Wan's Malignant was only watched 933,000 times. Given this great achievement, you would think a sequel announcement hopefully is coming soon. And finally, aside about the news you're probably all waiting for, let's talk about Ed Boon possibly teasing a new upcoming skin pack for the unreleased Mortal Kombat 12. On Thursday, Ed Boon responded to a tweet from at user Scott Reznor 365 about Carrie Ann Hoskins reprising her role as Sonya Blade in a future Mortal Kombat game or movie. Ed responded with, We've actually discussed this numerous times, how cool it would be to have a skin pack of the arcade game's actors. Similar to how we did with the movie skin pack. Carrie hasn't aged a day, and I'm still mad about that, smiley face. Ed response got quite the attention from fans, and even a response from Sonya Blade herself. Carrie Ann Hoskins responded as tweet with, Why is my Twitter blowing up today? Oh, hi Ed. Red Kiss Lips. Last year, NetherRealm Studios did release the classic MK movie skin pack with characters from the 1995 movie, including Christopher Lambert as Raiden, Lyndon Ashby as Johnny Cage, and Bridget Wilson Sampras as Sonya Blade. A potential classic arcade actor skin pack could include many possible classic Mortal Kombat characters, such as Carrie Ann Hoskins' Sonya Blade, John Turk Zub Zero or Shang Tsung, John Parrish's Jax Briggs, Richard DeVizio's Kano or Baraka, Anthony Marquez's Kung Lao, Eddie Wong's Liu Kang, Leah Montalongo's Sindel, and even Sal DeVita's Nightwolf. Given that Mortal Kombat 11 is finished and we are patiently waiting for news of an announcement of Mortal Kombat 12, hearing that talks have already been made in the works for future skin packs gives some hope of good content to come. What do you think of the idea of having a classic arcade actor skin pack, and which three characters from the original Mortal Kombat games would you want to see in it? And that's it for today's news, guys. Let me in the comments below if you think of the topics to cover today. If you want to like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It is 2022, so let's get those subscriber numbers ramped up. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time on the next mashup.